Lee Phillips, Media Manager for Rage. And I just wanted to spend some time today talking to you about a product that I really do believe makes a lot of difference to your fish. And I use it myself and it makes things so much easier. Uh, it's basically two products and they are the Texas Ready Rigs. Now the Ready Rigs have been in our range for quite a while now, uh, but last year we introduced the Texas Ready Rigs. Now they are brilliant, absolutely superb. What they offer is one knot fishing essentially. So you set your rod up, you've got your rod, put your reel on, put your braid through the rings and then you've got one knot at the end of this and you're fishing Texas style. It's, it's as simple as that and that's what the, the brilliance of these products is that they're so so simple so easy when time is of the essence when you've finished work or you've got to get back for the kids at a certain point or whatever and the missus is giving you grief instead of spending an, an extra five minutes uh, tying up a Texas rig Literally, you bust the packet of these open, unwind them, uh, tie them on, and you're fishing, and that saves you five minutes. So if you do that a couple of times, it could save you 15 minutes in a session, and that could be a couple of fish, and that could be some really nice fish as well. So thinking about time saving, these are brilliant. Now, they come in two types. You've got the critters, and you've got the slick shads. The slick shads are obviously what they are. They're the, the slick shad lures that we already offer. Uh, three of them in a pack, uh, and on the foam winder at the bottom, you've got three rigs. Now the rigs consist of the brilliant drop and jig fluorocarbon and they're, they're really, really high quality in terms of the knots and in terms of the fluorocarbon, so no worries there. Now the rest of the components you'll find in our, our range, as with the fluorocarbon already, and they are the offset hooks. So they're arm point hooks, very strong, very, very sharp. Uh, you get one of those in your finger, you know about it. They're really, really high quality. The weights are the cone weights that we offer separately as well uh, and they're a brilliant shape to them, they, they just glide perfectly through the water, they're great on the fluorocarbon, not harsh at all because they run up and, and down the leader on the fluorocarbon leader and they come together in these packs, brilliantly put together uh, so that you have a very high quality product which saves you a lot of time. The other one is the critters, now the critter lures, you won't find these critter lures elsewhere in a range although uh, we will have some good news at the, towards the end of the year about those. But they are basically mimicking uh, crayfish patterns. So the perch and zander, and pike as well, but mainly perch and zander, absolutely love these lures. They've got brilliant appendages on them. So uh, when you pop them out into the water, the front claws are bent back, but they come out and they flutter down. And you've got legs at the side which flutter, flutter around when you're moving them. So they, they cause lots of vibration, lots of movement in the water and the perch and the zander absolutely smash them. Uh, they, they're brilliant lures. Um, like I say, you can only get them in the kit so far, but these are, are well worth a go. If you fish a water where you've got crayfish that the fish are predating on, they absolutely love them. And the thing about crayfish, when perch especially tune into them, they will absolutely smash these lures because they know that when a perch comes over the top of a, a crayfish, the crayfish can quite quickly get away. They just flick the tail and, and off uh, and also they're sitting there with their pincers up so they can you know they're a bit more of a, a handful than say a roach fry or or a gudgeon or whatever but these lures because they mimic them so well the perch will come in and they'll absolutely smash them because they want to get them straight away especially if you've got some fish feeding a few fish feeding and they're, and they're competing for these things you will get some absolutely thumping takes on these things i recommend you, you give them a go if you've got any any crayfish in your waters around you'd be surprised at the results. Now why would you fish a Texas rig? Basically the whole the whole premise, the whole point of fishing a Texas rig is to give yourself a weedless presentation. So if you're fishing a water with lots of weed on the bottom or sticks or detritus of any kind then if you fish a jig head down there and you've got uh, your lure with the, the hook sticking out of the top you'll hook the weed and you'll come back with loads of it on stringing behind so you get a terrible presentation or you'll just get jammed up and you'll probably lose the lure. With these what happens is you have uh, your lure with the hook through it but the hook doesn't pop out the top of the lure so what happens is the point of the lure sits within within the lure so that there's nothing showing at the top. Now what that means is that you can bring it past any old any old weed or crap on the bottom and you won't hook up. That's, that's what the weedless uh, setup gives you. Exactly what it says on the tin, it is weedless. That comes from the offset hook. So the hook will 
the offset hook will sit at the front of the lure and then come below the actual lure itself, the line of the lure, and then come back into the body of the lure and then be hidden. But the great thing is as soon as the fish hits that lure, the, the point of the hook pops up and makes contact with the fish's mouth, it pricks and you're away, that's it. So the hookups aren't as good as with jig, jig fishing, but you know, you wouldn't get those bites, you wouldn't get those hookups in the first place if, if you weren't fishing weedlessly. So what you've got once you take your, uh, your yellow foam rig holder out of the packet, as you can see, is three rigs, three hooks, three cones, three lengths of fluorocarbon. All you've got to do then is take off one of the pins that holds the end of the rig in place, pull out the loop that's holding it in place, and then literally just turn the rig, pop the hook off, now you pop your cone out, thread the cone through, there you go. You've got your loop there, tie your mainline braid onto that, one knot, and you're rigged, you're rigged up. From that point on, what you need to be doing is rigging your rigging your lure onto that hook. That's dead easy. Take your creature bait. Now the way that the crayfish sits is you want the claws towards the end of the rig. So you're rigging from their tail end. So what you do, pass the hook through, probably give yourself five mil, seven mil of body, put the hook through, pull it all the way along, turn it, and that little kink for the offset will hold the lure, and then pass the hook back through the body of the lure. Now on the critters and on the slick shads, you have a little recess. So you've got a little slot at the top for the hook point to sit in. If you look at that, that just pushes up and you can't even see the top of the hook. So that's not going to catch on anything, there's nothing there to catch. But as soon as the fish hits it, bang, that hook is straight up, hook, hook point exposed, you can pull into it when you get the bite and you, you're hooked into your fish. Simple as that. Exactly the same principle on the slick shad. Slick shad has a little slot on the top again, perfect, perfectly smooth at the top, no hook point, but bang, as soon as it hits, you're straight in there, hook point exposed, and you're on. Simple as that. Now, if that doesn't save you time, I don't know what will. Out of the packet, one knot, get the lure on, cast out your fishing. All good quality products, great lures. If you haven't tried it already, why not? If you haven't, go for it, give it a go. You've got nothing to lose and a hell of a lot of fish to catch.